Hey there everyone, Clay Moffat here with Overnight Pictures. It's the first tutorial of 2011 or 2011, whatever you want to call it. But before we start, I want to go ahead and show you our new logo for this year. I've actually got two of them. They're both neat. Spent quite a bit of time on these. So, on to the tutorial. I'm going to show you some advanced color correction, or just rather color change. Here we have some fire that I've made blue, um, but it still looks very realistic. It's just really hot. You can see that there's heat coming off of the flames. There's some nice bright glow going on down there at the bottom. I've also added some particles in the background. Pretend this is a fireplace or fire pit and there's a log down here that usually causes sparks or particles to shoot up in the air. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have the fire footage that we shot in a new comp. It looks pretty cool. It's real fire, I told you. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, for this tutorial, we're going to have a lot of layers. So let's go with the first one and we'll make it an adjustment layer. We're going to add a glow effect to the adjustment layer. Now we're going to change the colors. In the original, I did blue, but I'm going to try a green for this demonstration. So we'll take the first one, we'll make it a yellow green, color A. And the second one, we'll make a green, not too bright, just a nice green. And then change the original color to AB. We're going to turn that off for now. We'll add another adjustment layer. And we'll go effect color correction, hue and saturation, colorize, and we're going to move the hue until we get a nice green. That looks pretty good. Up the saturation just a little bit. Layer, new, another adjustment layer. We'll go effect, color correction, curves. The purpose of adding curves, what we're trying to do is we're going to bring the darks down and the brights up almost too much. I mean, we want it to really, we want to crush the blacks and we want to bring the whites out. So we'll go ahead and turn the glow back on. Now we got to work with the glow. Probably going to want to push the radius out quite a bit and then we'll bring the intensity down. So that it's just a subtle. It kind of adds the, the background glow going on there. That looks pretty good. Um, in the original, I also added a magic bullet. You do not have to. I added Gus from the Indie Film Collection from Red Giant Software. And then I lowered it to about 50. 15%. You can see it just kind of adds some more surrounding glow. It just looks nice. Okay. And then the final touch is layer new solid effect simulation particle world. Go ahead and solo the layer, turn the grid to off, and we're just going to move it down off of the screen, and then adjust the radius on the X and Y. Go into the physics, we want it to be fire. Velocity, move it way down. Birth rate, lower to 0 0.8. And the longevity, put it to about 0 0.9. Okay. Lower the gravity a little bit too. Okay, let's watch it. That looks pretty good. We'll go into the particle settings. And we want it to start out, 
probably yellow would look good. And then the end color, we want to be a, a green. Okay, once you get your particle system looking the way you want it to look, unsolo it, and we're going to put it on the bottom. Toggle your switches and adjust your fire setting to add. It's probably the best. And then go to the opacity for your particles and make them about 50. And then go effect, blur and sharpen, box blur, repeat edge pixels, and blur it about 2. Maybe 1.5 here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Looks pretty nice. The sparks are shooting up. The fire looks great. Um... The cool thing about this though is you can go into the hue and saturation layer and play with the settings and get different colored fire. Let's see if I can get a It's cool because this one layer can control everything. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found some of the information useful. Fire is cool to look at no matter what color it is, so keep that in mind. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.